Attack on Mika. My name is Kosuke Maeda. I'm a 20-year-old college student. I'm actually in a pickle right now. The reason being... I like you, Kokun. So, um... Please go out with me. A high school girl suddenly asked me out. Her name is Honoka Hasagawa. She's the younger sister of my best friend, Hasagawa Horoka. And she just started her sophomore year of high school this spring. We're childhood friends who live nearby, and the three of us used to play together when we were kids. Honoka was not only shy, but also frail when she was little, and went in and out of the hospital many times. Because of this, she had a hard time making friends her own age. But gradually, the three of us stopped hanging out together. And these days, we hardly ever see each other anymore. That's why I was so perplexed when she suddenly called me up and confessed her feelings. Monica's like a little sister to me. I'm sorry, but I can't see you in that way after all these years. Just give me one week. If your opinion doesn't change after that, you can reject me completely. It's unusual for the quiet Honoka to be so insistent. I didn't understand why Honoka was so obsessed with me, but I guess she's interested in romance since she's a high schooler now. Well, if it's just for one week. Yeah, thanks, Kokun. I was so overwhelmed by Honoka's energy that I agreed to it as if I was playing along. And so we became a one week long couple and went out to dinner watch movies, and went shopping. All common date plans, to say the least. Even so, Honoka seemed to really enjoy our time together. What's up? You like soccer, right? I thought it would be nice to go to a soccer game with you someday. Huh. Seeing Honoka smile made me feel guilty for taking the offer so lightly. It was only a week to me, but I'm sure it was a precious seven days for Honoka. And in the blink of an eye, the promised week went by. I still can't go out with you, Honoka. I'm sorry I took it so lightly. I apologize to Honoka for my thoughtlessness. It's okay. I knew this would happen. I'm really sorry. But why me? When I asked, Honoka took something out of her bag. That's... What Honoka showed me was a good luck charm I made for her when I was in elementary school. <laughs> I don't want to be hospitalized again. <laughs> You'll be fine. Here. Take this as a good luck charm. A good luck charm? Did you make it? Yeah, so that you can get out of the hospital soon. You like pink, right? Oh, thanks. I didn't think Honoka would share something like that to this day. You've been very special to me ever since then. I thought you'd thrown it away a long time ago. No way. I've been hospitalized many times since then. But this good luck charm helped me get through it. I'll give up being your girlfriend, as promised. But it's going to be hard for me to forget about you right away. So will you forgive me for secretly holding on to my feelings? There was no reason to refuse Honoka's words, which were so straightforward. I was the one who was immature. With deep regret, the week between me and Honoka ended there. After that, I spent every day with the guilt I felt for Honoka. And one night, on the way home from my part-time job, still thinking about Honoka, I carelessly crossed the street without looking. By the time I noticed, it was too late. Ah! I felt a strong jolt throughout my body, and then everything went black. I woke up in the hospital bed. My body felt heavy as if it wasn't mine, and I finally realized that I had been in an accident. The injuries are not life-threatening, but there is damage to the spinal cord. You'll most likely be paralyzed in the lower half of your body. Paralyzed? That could be cured, right? It is difficult to say how far rehab will take you. But please be aware that it is difficult to completely get back to normal. What the doctor told me didn't register immediately. Paralyzed? I can't get back to normal? This is surely what they call karma. This is my punishment for overstepping the pure feelings of Honoka with a light heart. Uh, uh. The next day, Honoka rushed into the hospital room, apparently having heard about the accident from Honoka. Honoka! I'm sorry. I thought it might be bothersome if I came, but I couldn't bear the worry. Oh, but I'm glad you're okay. Looking at my face, Honoka said reassuringly. But when I told her about the injury, Honoka's expression suddenly froze. Paralyzed. It's gonna be okay. After rehab, you'll... It's fine! I interrupted her in a harsh tone, still unable to accept the reality of the situation. 
<gasps> it's fine. This is what I get. Hokun. Onika, you don't have to cry about me anymore. I'm sure there's someone more suitable for you. Uh, 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 I made her cry all the way through. I'm sorry. My apology echoed in the empty hospital room. And so began the grueling rehab process. I couldn't even stand on my own two feet without help. I felt despair for my condition once again. My heart nearly broke many times. Can't even stand, let alone walk! When I was feeling impatient and frustrated not being able to move my body as I wished. Oh, there you are, Maida-kun. One of the nurses came to me. Someone left this at the nurse's station for me to give to you. To me? I asked her name, but she wouldn't answer. She was a girl with long hair, and she was wearing a uniform. Could she be your sister? Uh, could it have been Honoka? This has always been my favorite drink. I remember Honoka liked it too, and we used to drink it together. Right. I'm not gonna back down over this! Felt like I was being gently encouraged, and although I was on the verge of falling apart, I decided to get myself together. Since then, I would receive a drink with a message written on it every couple of days. Hey, why don't you give it to him in person? I'm sure Maida Kun is in his room right now. Uh, no, it, it's fine. I'm sorry for always having you deliver it for me. The drink delivered regularly became a big support for my rehab. Uh, I can stand up! You did it, Maida Kun! Keep it up! Ah. <sighs> Today was another hard day. I could barely stand for 10 seconds without support. Still a long way from being able to walk, but it's nice to see the results of my rehab. All kinds of gifts. I can't believe how many I received already. This good luck charm helped me get through it. Wonder if Honoka as a child also experienced this kind of feeling every time she was hospitalized. Honoka always treasured the good luck charm I gave her. I feel like I was able to understand that feeling now. When I was discharged from the hospital, my rehab continued, and the seasons came full circle as winter came. It's cold outside. <sighs> I'll be waiting at the park. <gasps> Kokun! Stop! Huh? I took a slow step forward towards Honoka, who stood there out of breath. I walked toward her with my unsteady steps. For the accident, I had never thought about how hard it was to take one step forward. That's why I wanted to show Honoka how I'd grown, even if only a little, by feeding on that pain. Kokun, oh, you can do it! Ah! Kokun! Just as I was about to take my last step, I was held up by Honoka, who was much smaller than me. Dang, I tried to play it cool, not pathetic. Oh, that's not true. You've been working so hard all this time. This is the best I can do for now. I really wanted to make it to you. Thanks for bringing me that drink the whole time while I was in the hospital. <laughs> Don't thank me. I was worried that it would be a nuisance. I finally understand how you felt when you were hospitalized. If it wasn't for your support, I would have fallen apart long ago. Cocoon. You're crying again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so happy. <laughs> you know, Honoka, from now on, I'll make an effort to make you smile more. So will you continue to be my support from now on? Uh, yes, I'd love to. Honoka's tears did not stop from falling, but she still answered me with a bright smile. I'm not sure if there'll ever be a finish line in my rehab. It's a steep road I can't walk alone. Despite that, I want to be someone who can face any challenge head on. Because I have someone whom I can share the joys of overcoming difficulties with. Attack on Nika!